Hi, my name is Estrella. It means star in Spanish and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have a bunch of notes because it's about my experience at my university, specifically McMaster IBH. I have a lot to cover, so we're gonna get right into it. Disclaimer, this is not affiliated with the university. It's my personal opinion. It is also informed by people in my program and the few posts that are on Reddit. Okay, so first let's talk about the pros and cons of the program, aka why I chose IBH and the overall review of the program now that I'm halfway through second semester, kind of. The first reason why I chose IBH is that it has a really good combination between business and humanity courses. Personally, in high school, I did a lot of business courses. All my extracurriculars were also business related, so it just made sense to study business. I thought I was gonna be an accountant, a CPA, realized it wasn't for me, so I decided I would do general business, but I also am interested in social science-y type courses, so that's why I was like, this is cool, it's for me. And now that I'm in the program, I can really say that it is a very good mix between business and humanities, which I'll get more into later in the academic section. The second reason is the small class sizes. I was really intrigued by that because there's only about 50 people in the program, so you're gonna know your professor by first name basis. You can ask them questions either during class or office hours and it's just chill and everyone kind of knows of each other at least. I just feel more comfortable making friends in a smaller group. And then third is also related to the second reason, which is the overall student culture at McMaster. It's pretty diverse, I would say, and I just feel welcomed and I feel like I fit in. So that's why I personally thought that McMaster was for me. But the cons of the program, the first one's kind of obvious. The reputation of the program isn't the best just because it's a new program. It started, I believe, four years ago. So, you know, companies are not gonna know this program that well. So if reputation for you is really important, then you might wanna choose Queens, Western, U of T. Universities are more famous for doing business courses. But personally, I just find that I don't really care about the name of the program or the name of the university because I feel like when employers choose people, it's very much based on your work experience. Your resume and interview is also very important, not just what school you want to. So yeah, plus like I'm not really trying to find a corporate job. That's why I didn't really care about that. I just think it fits my interests, yeah. The second thing is the professors. Um, like this isn't something that I knew about before coming to the program, but personally at least, I find that it was kind of underwhelming that some professors might not be the most considerate or conscientious and might even be a little bit ignorant towards some social issues, which you're gonna find professors like that across all boards like in other universities and in other programs but considering the context of the program which is very much like social awareness social issues all that stuff it was a little bit underwhelming but with that said it's not all professors just some of them and it's just my opinion sometimes you will kind of feel like they're not preaching what they teach but i'm not gonna get into nitty gritty details because i'm not trying to get in trouble because i think i'm the only one making videos about the program and i'll be screwed if someone finds this anyways the third reason that's not that great is because it's not the most inclusive but this again is similar to all other programs it's not less inclusive than other programs there are special accommodations for people with certain health conditions but when you have an extenuating circumstance i feel like when it's not pertaining to your health condition you don't get the best accommodation so now that we got the pros and cons out of the way we can talk about the academics so as i said before the academics it has a very good combination between business and humanities courses in terms of the workload it's honestly really light compared to other programs so it really gives you time to have a social life or do extracurriculars or just your hobbies you will really have time to be able to do those especially with second semester in your first year 
what I heard is that it's the easiest semester at IBH. In terms of assignments, I also think it's a pretty good mix as well. You have individual projects, essays, that type of stuff, but you also have group work. And then there's obviously exams and quizzes, which I find pretty okay as well. It's not that intimidating. The good thing is that if school doesn't open, if it is still online, then most likely your assignments are not going to be proctored like your exams and quizzes you're just doing it within the time frame that they give you and that's pretty much it some of them are open books some of them are not it really just depends so now let's get into the details my brief review of each course in first year got my handy dandy computer here i'm just gonna be looking at the website first course accounting i felt like the first few chapters were honestly just a review of high school accounting so if you took accounting in high school in grade 11 or 10 or whatever then you're gonna have a pretty good grasp of the first few chapters currently we have weekly homework for accounting and then there's one or two midterms and then an optional final exam yeah it just depends on how much time you put into it and this course you learn it by yourself kind of when you go to class it's more so doing quizzes and asking questions and doing application questions so yeah perspectives on canadian business there's a lot of weekly homework as well so we have this smart book thing which is just multiple so we have the smart book thing which is just multiple choice questions every week and then we have this thing called Capsum Core Assignments. So it's a group project and you compete against other teams. This course is definitely more businessy, but we do touch on some business ethics a little bit. It's very much an introduction. We're not getting into like anything that specific yet. So. Oh no. I said something. Okay, anyways. Um. And then intro to language and society, I feel like this course is pretty interesting. It's very much what it sounds like. You learn about how language is in each society and how it affects culture and stuff like that. I feel like this course is paced really well. Our current professor, Dr. Penner, he really customizes it to the students that he's teaching. So like, Every year, what he teaches is a little bit different and the assignment's a little bit different. He also like moves around assignment dates a lot according to the pace of the course. The discussions we have is also very interesting because we get to talk about our own experiences with speaking other languages that are not English, so. Whew. Next is IBH in the community. I feel like this course is also very interesting. It is very similar to peace studies and insight and inquiry. So you'll see a lot of similarities in content material. These three courses, I would say, while they're interesting, they're also pretty vague. Sometimes you'll get confused with like what the course is really about because it's so similar to other courses. But I would say like, especially I based in the community. I've only been in this course for a month because it started this semester but I would say that this course really made me more socially aware and just more conscientious of other marginalized groups. Leadership coaching is one of the courses that IBH really like promotes. Even on their website, they talk about it in more detail than other courses. This course is basically just learning about organizational behavior. And personally, I felt like it was a lot of common sense um so some people liked it some people not so much you also get to do this thing called lsi and tle where you do a questionnaire to learn more about yourself and then from there you will write about how you're gonna work on your goals some action steps and all of that and i think this really depends on where you are in your self-development journey for me i feel like i learn best when i make mistakes so Doing leadership coaching wasn't really something that would make me grow a lot. But then again, this really depends on where you are in your self-development journey and how you learn best. 
peace studies I kind of touched on this already but I think this course really touches on more current issues than the other humanities courses so we talk about how COVID and Black Lives Matter affects communities we talk about Toxic Charity, that's a book that we're reading right now, which is just about how charity can be not so helpful. Oftentimes we do it to kind of fulfill our own desires and it's not very genuine. And there's a lot of downsides to doing charity work. So we have to be like more intentional about it and all that stuff, which I think is very important. And then we have macro and microeconomics. These two courses, they're completely online. It's not virtual, so there's no like live courses and stuff like that, which I find kind of hard to learn on my own. But fingers crossed, school will actually open so we don't have to do that anymore. I feel like this course again is very self-paced so if you like that that's great you have like five weekly quizzes and then every week you also have homework to do pertaining to the chapters yeah now we can move on to student culture i feel like in the program everyone is generally very nice and welcoming some examples that i can like kind of give is when people first got accepted to the program this year they created like whatsapp group chats facebook groups like and it was very active and people even went on zoom calls to talk to each other before school even started that i felt like was really cool like being able to meet people even though it's online right now i still feel like i'm part of a little community i also think that it's a pretty good mix of people it's pretty diverse in terms of ethnicities people who are in the lgbtq community and interests and personalities so we're all different but we're also similar in the sense that we're all pretty socially aware and that was not to say we're like super in the know about everything you know but we're like eager to learn about it and understand other perspectives and stuff like that and while the class is small there's only about like 50 people as of right now at least it doesn't remind me of like high school where you can't be yourself and um it's kind of suffocating yeah and then also in terms of career paths there's people who are trying to be lawyers which i actually find really interesting because you know it's business and humanities and you would think there's more like businessy people but there's actually a good chunk of people who are trying to be lawyers and are taking the LSAT soon there's also some entrepreneurs and aspiring millionaires and then you have people who are still confused about what the fuck they're gonna do you also have people who are kind of nerdy like they really care about school and then you have people who are like fuck it it's online I don't care I'll just do whatever. It just really depends on where you fit. You know? Yeah. Now on to parties. I cannot speak on this topic too much because obviously it's been online and no, I have not been going to parties since university started and you shouldn't either stay home kids. But what I hear from upper year students, it's very much in the middle. So you wouldn't feel the pressure to parties, but there's also parties on the weekends in the area if you want to go it kind of falls somewhere in the middle compared to other universities in terms of clubs i would say i also don't know that much about it because it's been online i didn't join any but from what i see in the class group chat there's definitely a lot of clubs you can join there's not that many pertaining to just ibh but there are a lot of clubs for business slash commerce there's also other clubs related to other topics and also a lot of networking opportunities if you're looking for that that's pretty much all i got for this video i hope this was helpful in some way i know that i wish i had a video like this that i could watch so hopefully this is that video for you let me know if you want me to cover other things about the program i can certainly do that and get other people's perspectives on it as well yeah next week i'm probably gonna come back with a video that's more fun and not about school um hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you later bye